Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Fluid Art Express. Um, hopefully, before me, you would have seen Taslima from Taslima Mayer Art. Nathan from The Fine Art of Distraction. After me, we're going to have Christy from Creations by Christy. Shannon from Shan B Fluid Art. The awesome Angie Mason from Angie's Fluid Art. And Tony, the Hippy Dippy Painter Man. So, stay on board and enjoy the ride. Okie dokie. So, my plan for today is just to have a bit of fun. I've uh, shown up with no idea of what I'm going to do. Apart from, I have an MDF um, star, which I've coated in pillow paint. Which is my usual British Paints Low Sheen, which is a wall paint here in Australia. And it works really well, so that's what I tend to use. What shall I do? I know what I'll do. I'll just play. I'll make something up random as I go. Hmm. Grab my little stick. Let's put some colours down. Alright. We'll start with a neon yellow. In there. I shall grab... Wisteria. Now this is a cool colour from um, Eye Candy, Wisteria. Don't know whether you can see that. But gee, it's pretty. Quite like it. So we'll put some of that down. Then we have a Barney Purple. Which is pretty cool. Quite like Barney Purple. Put a bit of that there and there. Some Skyline Blue. Now these are all eye candies. Everything I'm using today is an eye candy pigment. We have a Jug and Silver. I love this colour. So we go with the silver. And what else have I got? Oh, I've got a, a, a Wombatted Purple. So it was originally a Eye Candy Purple. I can't remember which one it was for the life of me. But I've um, added some dioxazine purple to it just to deepen it up a bit. Alright, so we'll start with that. And I've got a custom pink that I've made up out of eye candy too. So I'm going to put that there. Then what I'm going to do is grab my, if I can find it, where is it, my little palette knife, which is this little guy, going to put on some black cell activator, which is your Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed with Australian Flowtrop. We're just going to put a thin coat of that on like so and then we'll do a little radial in the middle here so just spinning that round get to here change my angle rotate so that way it's just a perfect circle in the middle somewhere well close enough to the middle if it hadn't moved nice job now, 
what I'm going to do is, while that's sinking and doing its thing, I am going to grab some other colours here, which is Okinawa Blue. I think we'll go with some Storm Grey. And plastic pink. So they're my three colours. So you've got plastic pink, storm grey, and canal blue. Now move that selectivator to one side, grab my white selectivator. Which is Amsterdam Titanium White, mixed with Australian Floetrol as well. Roughly about three to one, something like that. Now I'm going to put some of that on my palette knife. Like that. Then what I'm going to do is the loaded palette knife swipe. So I'm going to grab some colour. and add it to my palette knife. Like that. Then I'm gonna start on the radial. And drag that across. And I'm gonna do that on all five points. I'll change the order as I go just for giggles like that Select it later again. Put some more of that on. So that's only a thin coat. So, like that. All I do is put it on, smooth it out. Near enough is close enough because it's a swipe. You really don't need that much for it to do its thing. Okay, we'll put grey down first this time. Some blue. And the pink. And again, just smooth some on. as I go. Now I'm not putting any pressure on that. I'm just letting the weight of the swipe tool do its thing. That's why I removed the handles off all my stuff. It's just so that you've got a better feel for what you're doing. Way. So they ain't drip painting them. Alright, go this way, wiggle it down. Like that. So that's what I'm starting with. Dun, 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 dun. I will move these out of the way so I don't spin paint into them. I've got a bad habit of doing that, so better to be safe than sorry. Alright, put the lid on the blue and 
our storm grey. Gorgeous grey that. Man, I love it. Alright. So we put the lid on. We can still like to bait her up out of the way. Alright, then I'm going to grab my skewer. I'll just put a couple of little patterns in here. And around the edge of this, I'm going to put a little loop like that. And then add some little pieces that come out from the center. Alrighty, now what we'll do is give that a bit of a spin and see what happens. Hopefully I haven't put too much pillow paint down like I usually do. Oops. Alright, put that down there. Give that a little spin. That should fluff the radial out a little bit. If there's any little bits you want to change, now's the time to do it. Still a little bit of paint left on. A bit more of a spin. And that is it. Alright. So, we'll get our little tool. We'll scrape off the bottom of it. no dry bits on the edges okay I will pull on a flyover of this so you can have a look and see what she looks like All oh, right, I think I might do one really quick coaster. So we can have a bit of a play with that. So I'll just press pause here and let's have a look. Okie dokie. So we've got a four inch hex tile. It's about five inches one way, four inches the other. We'll throw down some Barney purple. down first we'll go with some storm gray absolutely love this color so put that down some 
neon yellow. It's um, Wisteria. Hopefully you can still hear me because it's absolutely pouring down. Got a uh, thunderstorm that's just rolled in. Wanting to upset the wombat. Alright, what was that one? That was purple sage. Awesome colour. Love it. Okinawa blue. We'll go some jug and silver. And my custom plastic pink that I made up. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is just make a crazy pattern. So, what I'll do with that is grab a swipe tool, which I've just put down somewhere. There it is. Found it. Crisis averted. It's all good. Grab my little swipe tool, put some cell activator on that, which is the black. Gonna go that for our radial and wipe that off stick it back in its little hole grab the straw bit of a blow then gonna grab a skewer again and go figure eight so we start here and go like that nice simple easy pattern down so we don't launch paint everywhere I'll wipe that a bit not that it really matters because this is inside a plastic box so it just helps keep things a little bit cleaner and tidier Bada boom, bada bing. These are super cool to just play with. Look at the colours in that. So by putting figure eights all the way down it, that's what pattern you get when you spin it out. And that is that. All right, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed that today. If you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, up next, we've got Christy from Creations by Christy. If you click on her name in the title of this video, it'll take you to her channel. If you're in the live chat, I'll be putting the links in anyway. Or if you are a member of my group, you would have been able to see the playlist link where you just click on that play all and you see everybody on the express today all right guys um stay tuned we've got awesome angie mason up so please stay on board for that
if you've liked what you've seen hit like share and subscribe ring that notification bell that way you get to see all my videos as I release them um, that's it from me so have fun take care and I'll see you in the next one bye for now bye